Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way that you can import SES trucks to Blender. So to get started here, I am using Blender 2.79 and uh, Conversion Tools 1.37. Um, I also have Converter Picks already installed and SES Extractor along with the base game already extracted using the SES Extractor. So to get started here, you're going to want to locate your ATS uh, game file directory and you want to take any truck that you want. I'm going to use the 3D9. I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop and I'm going to call it 3D9. Now that's done, I can open the folder and paste the SES file into the folder. Now that that's there, I can also drag in the SES extractor and I can take the SES file and drag it right onto the extractor. Now that that's done, I can take out the extractor, I can close this, and I'm going to take the 3D9 folder and put it on the com uh, converter picks. Now that that's done, you can open up this uh, 3D9 EXP folder and also download the missing data folder I left down below. And once you unzip that, you should see these two files. You want to right click, copy, and paste them right into the EXP file. Now you can close these two and open up Blender. And then make sure all your path settings are all correct. The only one that shouldn't be set is the base path. So you want to go to File, Import, PIM. Mine's on my desktop. The 3D9 EXP. And set this to the project base path. Then you want to go to Vehicle, Truck, 3D9, Truck, Import. And if you did all that correctly, your truck should pop up and it should look something like this. Here we are. You can close this. And now we have imported the truck. So now for just minor modification, I'm going to actually lower it. So that in game it will appear slightly the wheel nodes are going to be slightly higher so in order for me to do that I'm going to come over to the side panel under SES tools and if I, if I want to see all the cabs and without all the locators and collisions I can click this view only the model button and you will be able to see this now and if I do just want to see just one cab I can come over to the object panel and first I'm going to collapse all of it so I'm going to hit this little collapse button I'm going to scroll down and if I want to just lower the day cab I'm going to select variant A and of course variant A is day cab variant B is the flat top and C is the high rise so I'm just going to do A for now, onto the variants, and select chassis A along with variant A. And you should see something like this. So just to see the, uh, the nodes and the truck, you want to hold control and click collisions. And after you uh, hit that, you will see all the nodes. So I'm going to come up here to the search panel. I'm going to search in wheel. And any one of these that are highlighted, I'm going to just click them using shift click. And also, you can see here there's an extra node that we're going to have to move. These are the mud guards. 
So I'm going to come down to this. I'm going to shift and right click it. And now that I have all these selected, I can hit G, Z, and then I'm going to raise it just a little bit. So I'm going to do 0 0.08 and enter. And there you go. Now you can go to File, Export, PIM. Under Recent, you should see the 3D9. Hit Truck, Export. Now you can come over back to the scene panel. Scroll down. If you didn't get any errors, this, uh, if you did get any errors, I would suggest going back, fixing them. But if you followed everything I did, there should be no errors. Come down here to Conversion Helper, hit Clean, and Convert Current SES Project. And there we go. We can minimize the tab. We can open our conversion tools, come down to RSRC, go to linked, cache, highlight all these, right click, 7-zip, hit add the archive, I'm going to name it 39.ses. And you can come over here to your documents mod folder and drag it right in and that's it.